ADDLs. These are unique neurotoxins that we referred to in the last session that bind to the neural synapses, causing cell death and memory loss. Now, take a look here at this synapse. This is what you normally see uh, that relates to, for instance, depression. When people have depression or anxiety, they're frequently encouraged to take a serotonin reuptake inhibitor that works right here at the synaptic level, right between where the, where the nerves meet, the ability to maintain a higher level of serotonin changes the chemical nature of how our brain works and therefore how we feel. Now, if a medication can change how we feel at the synaptic level. That means that there's a physiology naturally in place that, if properly understood, could be, could be manipulated with natural chemicals as well. Right? So if, if there are genes that allow that type of expression are normally we should be able to alter that physiology naturally as well. We've been talking about that throughout this weekend. What are the different things that influence serotonin production? So, but it is here, at the synapse of the brain nerves, that this neural toxin, this, this protein that damages the nerves, it, it interferes with that process. It begins blocking that activity, and in doing so, causes disruption of the cell, leading to death of that cell, and then loss of the memories associated with that pathway that we had created at some time in the past. So, when we're looking at Alzheimer's, we want to ask the question, what are the chemoprotective strategies that we can use to improve our health, improve our memory, maintain those neurons there indefinitely so they don't die prematurely. So the researchers from Northwestern University and other centers found that just small amounts of this extra virgin olive oil, this oleocanthal chemical that's found in extra virgin olive oil, was able to target these neural toxins, these ADDLs, and stimulate antibodies to more effectively fight against them. Wow. And so the research is that totally changed the understanding of how Alzheimer's developed. And so over the last 10 years now, more therapies have been targeting, looking at what they learned from the book of nature, what they learned from understanding the chemical power of extra virgin olive oil.